Hello everyone. Um, I was looking on the on uh, YouTube and the internet, and I didn't see this card trick. Um, it's a pretty simple, easy uh, math card trick. And um, so basically, uh, you start with, and it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Uh, after I finish this trick, almost everybody is like, "Whoa, oh my gosh!" And uh, it's really simple. The mechanics behind it are, I mean, you basically don't do anything. Uh, so okay, well, first of all, you start with twenty one cards. And um, you show it to the uh, person, and you say, "Pick any card." Uh, so let's say for this, I mean, we will. Sh I'll show you the card for an example, but um, of course you wouldn't know the card. Uh, but in this case, it's going to be the Ace of Diamonds. Um, and then you tell them to show it to whoever they want and put it back in the deck anywhere they want. Uh, so they let's say they decide to put it right here. Okay. Now you break it down into three piles. Now you tell the person that this is pile A, B, and C. It um, doesn't really matter how you name these piles, but just as long as it stays consistent throughout the trick. Um, so we know that it's the uh, Ace of Diamonds, um, which is right here. So it's in pile A. So we get rid of B. So, oh, so what you want to do is, so they say A. So what you want to do is you want to take one of these piles, either B or C, first and then always take the pile that has their card in it second so second and then third and then you're going to do this two more times which is kind of a pain um, but that's how this trick is done so um, again you're going to ask them the same question uh, pile A, B, or C so in this case the heart of, I mean, the ace of diamonds is in pile B so you're going to do pile A, B, and C uh, and then you're going to do this trick. One more time. And again, A, B, or C. Um, in this case, I have a lot of aces. That probably wouldn't be smart. They might get confused and forget that theirs was the ace of... So I wouldn't do that, but for this, that's fine. Okay, um, so in this case, it's in B. So remember, second pile. Um, okay, so now we're all done with that. Now, I already know where their card is after doing that three times. Um, it's the 11th card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ace of Diamonds. There it is. Um, but there's no real excitement in just showing them that you know where their card is. So the way that this part is done is um, you break it down into... I like to call them roses, but they're really just card piles. Um, and this is the eleventh card right here. But of course, you know, you just you you don't act like you know where it is. Um, and you tell them to pick uh, two card piles. Uh, so if they choose this one and this one, that's fine. Get rid of them. Uh, if they choose this one and this one, then get rid of these. So you're basically choosing all of the things so that it accommodates this pile. Uh, so that you can keep this pile in. So let's say they choose this one and this one. Well, then we'll get rid of these because we know that this doesn't have the card in it. Uh, so then let's say that between these two, they choose this one. Well, that's fine. We'll get rid of this. Then between this, you tell them to choose one of the uh, cards. Let's say they choose this. That's fine. Now tell them to choose two cards. Uh, let's say they choose this and this. That's fine. We get rid of these. Now it's between one and two cards. But either way, if they choose this card, I'm getting rid of it, or if they choose this card, I'm getting rid of this card. So if they choose the right card, that's great, uh, and if they choose this card, then you get rid of it. Flip this over, eight of diamonds, I mean ace of diamonds, uh, and that's how the trick is done. So it's pretty easy, um, it's pretty neat, people think that they choose their own card, and uh, it's a pretty easy trick for a beginner, and I always have fun when I do it. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much. Bye.